here in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dan, you want to... share with you for just a couple of minutes another section of scripture from the Gospel of John. It's become one of my favorites, and it's one of my favorites uh, to talk about at weddings. So it's in the second chapter of the Gospel of John, and it's Jesus' very first miracle. So here's what John reports. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, my time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jugs, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so. And the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. This, the first of Jesus' miracles, he performed at Cana in Galilee. Thus he received, revealed his glory, and his disciples put their faith in uh, I, I just love it for, for a lot of reasons. And I won't get into all of them today because I know you want to get to the exception. So I, 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 won't, I won't get into all of them today, but I'm going to get into a few of them. One of the, 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 the greatest parts of this is there was a wedding in Cana. Jesus was invited. What a great phrase. And Jesus was invited. I don't know if it comes to the friends. I don't know how he was related. Do these people, but Jesus, as a wedding guest, was invited to come to their wedding. They didn't know Jesus was going to turn water into wine. They didn't expect. They just 
knew Jesus, liked Jesus, and invited Jesus to their life. So, the next part that I really love is that Jesus' first miracle uh, has to do with a pretty good party. I mean, it was a pretty good party. I mean, they had wine, but they ran out. People were having a great time, and they ran out. And Jesus cares enough about this couple. It seems kind of like a minor detail. They've already had enough to drink. Maybe they didn't need any more wine. I don't know. But it seems like kind of a minor detail. But Jesus cared about this couple enough to do something. His very first miracle was at a wedding. And it was because he loved the couple. And it was to make their life better. I love this because it speaks to today. There was a wedding in Anthem, and Jesus was invited. You asked me to come and talk, and we talked on the phone and got a chance to talk about what you wanted the wedding to be like. You chose the readings about three, uh, four, three strands. It's not broken easily because Jesus is invited. You took uh, a reading from Jesus' own words when he talks about marriage as two people becoming one. And that should not be broken. You invited Jesus to this wedding. Now here's the thing. I, I'm, I'm assuming you're not going to run out of wine. I, I don't know. Looking at the crowd, possible. Possible. I don't know. Possible. Uh, but you're going to come up against other struggles and heartaches and heartbreaks and problems in your life. And the good news is this. If Jesus cared enough about a couple at a wedding to make their life better by doing a miracle with water and wine, I'm pretty confident. He cares enough about your lives to be involved. To be there when you have great hops. To be there when you're slogging through tough loads. To be there when you need grace to keep going when you need to forgive each other, when you need to celebrate the great things in life, Jesus is going to be there because he cares deeply about both. Here's how I know. You know, for that couple at the wedding, he watered the wine. That was a great day. For that couple, later on in the Gospel of John, and for you, Jesus would do it even greater. He would go to the cross, he would suffer and die, he would do it because he loved that couple, he loves you, he loves me, he loves the people together. And on that Friday afternoon, they laid him in the grave. But the miracle is, on Sunday, he came back to life. And so now, he lives for us, in us, because there was a wedding Jesus was invited. All right, let's get to the good. All right, Kevin, you have this woman to be your wife, to live with her in holy marriage according to the word of God. Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be husband to her as long as you both show it. Answer I do. Will you have this man to be your husband? To live with him in holy marriage according to the will of God. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be wife to him as long as you both shall live. Kevin, why don't you uh, look at her? I kept the presence of God and these witnesses take you back to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, 
for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death parts us. And I pledge my life. That means you repeat after me. I, Kathy, in the presence of God, and these witnesses, take you, Kathy, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until death parts us. And I pledge you. Father, by your grace, you have brought uh, Kevin and Kathy together. We are so grateful for that. We're grateful for family and friends who surround them and, and uh, are praying for them and are holding them up. We are so grateful for that surrounding group of people. Father, as they begin a life together today, we pray that you would pour out your blessing upon them. Thank you so much for sending your son to this wedding in Anthony, that he would be here. Father, we pray for their life together, that it may be filled with joy, that it may be filled with a strength, that it may be filled with grace. We pray for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now that Kevin and Kathy have consented together in holy marriage, have given themselves to each other with their solemn pledges, and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you, may the Lord make his face shine upon you, gracious of you. May he look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. You may now kiss the brother. It is my uh, great pleasure to Mr. and Mrs. 
Kevin Baker. Good work.